Hello and welcome to the Critic Uculus. I'm the Monk and today we are in Empire of Sin. We're back doing the Boss Spotlight playlist. And today's video is all about Frankie Donovan. Now, Frankie Donovan's actually one of my favorite bosses within the game. In my opinion, he is the most powerful boss in the game currently with the precinct update. And in this video, I'm going to go over exactly why I believe this. And for all those people looking for more Empire of Sin content, don't forget to hit that like button and of course, subscribe to the channel because we currently have like 80% of all Empire of Sin viewers still not subscribed to the channel. So it does us a massive favor to hit that button. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get on with the video. So let's talk about Empire bonuses. Now, the first one I want to talk about is bygones be bygones. The read up is negative effects um, with other factions from previous wars are minus 50%. Now, you're going to get into a lot of wars uh, in this game. That's kind of the point of the game. So this in general is going to build up quite often. So having this minus 50% um, can actually be quite beneficial. The next one unfortunately is valet rope and this isn't as good as um, the last one speakeasies ambience upgrades cost minus 20 percent big whoop 20 percent is a nice number but doesn't really do too much the last one is on the hops and that's a brewery quality upgrades cost minus 20 percent this is massive this is the best one out of the three um you're going to be needing a lot of alcohol in a game you're going to be upload upgrading your breweries an awful lot therefore a minus 20 percent cost to all brewery upgrades well quality um brewery quality upgrades is going to be really helpful because you're going to be doing that an awful lot in the game therefore that's a awful lot of money you're going to be able to save yourselves up next, we have the stats. Combat stat-wise, we are looking at 68 marksmanship, which isn't very great. Uh, it's okay. It's definitely not terrible, um, but 68 is nothing to shout about. Luckily, the way the game is currently, melee is just absolutely amazing. Therefore, using melee with Frankie Donovan is an extremely good idea considering his ability is actually a melee attack. So personally, I would stick with melee, possibly pistols, um, especially when it looks to that marksmanship until, of course, you get it up. Now, his initiative is absolutely amazing and it only gets better too. I'll explain why a little bit later, but a baseline of 73 is very good. It's one of the highest initiatives in the game. For anyone that doesn't know, initiative determines the order of combat. So when you start battle, the higher your initiative, the earlier you will start in that combat. Movement again on Frankie Donovan is seven. That's very good. A defense minus of five, which is meh, nothing to shout about. When it comes to the last three stats, we're looking at leadership, persuasion, and intimidation. None of these are anything massive. Uh, leadership's 51, persuasion 64, and intimidation is 68. Intimidation's okay. Persuasion is actually high enough to get you the extra 100 quid at the beginning of the game. When you kind of get that offer to go do something, you can say, how about 600? So it's high enough for that, but you are going to need to raise that persuasion stat as you go through your game. If you do get the early chance of buying a gangster off you, you're probably going to fail, unfortunately, with that persuasion. Um, so yeah, they're nothing to shout about. Moving on to the traits though. Now, Frankie is blessed. He does actually have two traits that are very useful. The first one is cat has nine lives. Once per combat, if an attack would kill Frankie, uh, they then bounce back to 20% health. So at 150, if you were to die, you'd come back with 30 health points, which is actually massive. Um, it doesn't matter how much they attack you. Like you could have one HP, HP they do you 50 damage. You'll still come back with that 30. Um, and then, of course, you also have Brave. A Brave is brilliant because you get a plus 20 initiative when outnumbered in combat. They're always going to be outnumbered, especially if you're playing for a tougher game, meaning Frankie is always going to be first in battle. And that's what you want. You want your boss to be first because you want to be able to attack with your best unit first. Absolutely love these two traits. 
Moving on to the skill tree. Now, unfortunately, Frankie isn't a medic. He doesn't have that ability. Um, he does have a couple others, a little bit different though. So we do have lifeline at the beginning. Always click lifeline on every boss. I think every boss in the game actually has that. In tier three, I would probably pick, because this is where we would normally pick the medic line, uh, I would probably pick a break shot, take aim at the target's weapon. If successful, um, it, you'll break the target's weapon, meaning they then have to move off and repair it, skipping their go pretty much. It, um, or you could go for run and gun. Once activated, you can perform a maxed move action and still perform another action afterwards. I like run and gun personally, but I've used break shot a little bit more recently and it's very, very powerful. In tier four, I would pick return fire. If attacked, you automatically return fire with a secondary weapon. Now, Frank, Frankie Donovan is going to be a tank by the end of the game. Um, because he's a melee attacking character, I would sync that up with a pistol. Um, and yeah, return fire is just very good. And then in tier, tier five, the other ones you don't even have to look at. The best one is kill, kill chain. Fire a shot at a target. If that target is killed, uh, your turn doesn't end and you get one AP back, meaning you can use a melee attack again or, of course, your pistol. So looking at combat wise for Frankie Donovan, um, he is a melee character. You're going to be getting an awful lot of melee kills with him. And I'll show that um, in a minute. The reason we're going to get a lot of um, melee kills is because your ability. Your ability is a melee action. So syncing it up with handguns is probably a really good play. I think natively you're going to get a few kills with handguns, a lot of melee. And with that, you're going to be getting an awful lot of decent um, perks with that line as well and Frankie Donovan's ability main ability is honestly amazing mm -hmm. basically on, after three it. kills you get to use it and you hammer away at your targets you hit them three four times um, with your melee weapon and it's a devastating you kill them bitch. you then get something called exhaustion put on you which then you can then use again usually you can kill between two and four um, people with Frankie Donovan's um, ability at the beginning of the game your melee attacks aren't necessarily going to be so good you're only going to be able to kill maybe two to three uh, each time exhaustion um, basically means you're not able to use it again. Um, it kind of ends your string of attacks. But if you kill your target, if your exhaustion isn't too high, you then get to use your ability again once you've kind of unlocked it and you're actually able to use it. I love Frankie Donovan's um, ability. I think it's, it, it's really fitting with the way the meta is right now because... Obviously, melee is now 100 on every single character. Uh, melee is just very, very overpowered. And so having any character, any boss that has a melee ability as their main ability means you're going to be getting so many kills of it. I would highly recommend using um, Frankie Donovan as your boss if you haven't already. It's a great load of fun, especially with Cat of Nine Lives, especially with having such high initiative. It means combat wise, you're able to absolutely dominate. Um, obviously, if you attach him with trinkets and stuff like that, he is a real contender for um, the Lone Wolf achievement. If anyone hasn't actually got that achievement yet, he is a contender for that. Something I didn't talk about earlier, almost forgot to talk about actually because it's really not that good, is Frankie Donovan's unique uh, precinct improvement. Now once you level that up to level 1, you unlock an improvement slot. Now Frankie Donovan's improvement slot is a shooting range. In theory, I quite like it. The guards get a buff to marksmanship. However, they only get a 5 buff five that's it five on whatever their usual is now they are absolutely horrendous at shooting anyway so them getting a five buff or a plus five to marksmanship really doesn't cut it and um, for me it's not worth the money and his unique improvement is just a waste of time if that was 20 percent, absolutely amazing if that was 10 percent, even yeah okay maybe but at five percent it's just a no unfortunately 
I think when it comes to the unique improvements, Frankie Donovan kind of got stiffed. But apart from that, he's an absolutely amazing character for someone who likes getting combat heavy in their playthroughs. But that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you found it entertaining or just want to see more of these videos, don't forget to hit that like button. Comment your thoughts. What's your favorite boss in the game currently? Frankie Donovan, for me, has to be the strongest boss in the game. I think with the stats, the traits and ability, he absolutely sums up what you need to be to be a decent, powerful boss in the game. But until next time, I've been the Monk and we've been the Critic You Clueless and I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Until then, happy gaming.